Well, Tim, good evening. We are here in southeast Georgia, and we can tell you when we arrived here at St. Simons Island earlier today, it was high tide, and the wind and the rains were pretty aggressive. Take a look here. You are looking live at the Golden Ray from the St. Simons Pier, and there is some anxiety about the interruption of salvage plans. Along St. Simons Island, there is worry and wonder about what Elsa will do. We got the storm coming in and everything, but I'm not scared. It's not scaring me away yet. John Clemens is braving the weather for now. He's visiting and was not going to let Elsa cancel his fishing plans with his son. He has an eye on his line and the radar. You know, precautionary action is always is always good. You know, and then weather is so funny it just turns. You know, so. You just be prepared. The Golden Ray sits several yards from Clements fishing spot. An Altamaha Riverkeeper, Fletcher Sams, calls Elsa's impact on salvage operations a large concern. You know, this is probably the closest call that the Golden Ray is going to have, um, or, or at least hoping that. His on the water monitoring of any environmental impacts from the ship including looking for oil sheens, is on pause. There will not be any ability to even attempt to mitigate any releases of oil during the storm because there won't be any ability to have those ships on the water. Right now, many are waiting to see what happens, knowing hurricane season is here. Now, also of note here tonight, we can tell you there are no current plans to close the bridges here. Also, we can tell you that the county's magistrate courts offices, all public pools and all outdoor activities sponsored through the Glen County Public School System will be closed. However, all city of Brunswick and other Glen County offices will remain open. We are live tonight in St. Simons Island. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side.